Are you planning a major that requires chemistry? To help our Bobcat Advising Center students who need to take chemistry, this video will explain how to register for Chem 2, Chem 10, and Chem 8. To better explain this process, this video is separated into two different sections. The first section explains how to register for Chem 2 and Chem 10. The second section explains how to register for Chem 8. Before we get started, here is a brief overview of the first four chemistry classes offered at UC Merced. Chem 1 is a preparatory refresher course that is required if you did not pass the chemistry placement exam. Chem 1 does not have a lab, so we will not focus on Chem 1 in this video. Chem 2 is the first semester of college level general chemistry with a lab. To take Chem 2, you must have tested out of Chem 1. You have tested out of Chem 1 if you pass the UC Merced Chem placement exam, earn a 3 or 4 on the AP Chemistry exam, and sent your official AP score to UC Merced, or complete a transferable college course equivalent to Chem 1 during high school or at your previous college and send your official college transcript to UC Merced. Chem 10 is the second semester of college-level general chemistry with a lab. Chem 8 and 8 lab is organic chemistry. For this video, we will refer to each course as Chem 2, Chem 10, or Chem 8. Chem 2 and Chem 10 have three components. You will need to register for all three linked parts of the class at the same time. These components are lecture, discussion, and lab. Since Chem 2 and Chem 10 are very similar, we will be using Chem 2 as an example. Chem 10 follows the same pattern. Step 1. Identify the time of the lecture that you want to take. Consider the days, time, and location. There may be more than one lecture offered for your chem class. Once you have identified the lecture, move on to Step 2. Step 2. Select the linked course sections. Based on your intended lecture, select the corresponding linked discussion and lab that you would like to take. The link discussions and labs are listed directly below your lecture. For Chem 2 and Chem 10, the linked courses are paired together. This means that if you select discussion number 2, it will be paired with lab number 2. You must attend all parts of your chemistry class, lecture, lab, and discussion. Your final grade will be based on your performance in all three parts of the class. The registration process for Chem 8 and 8 Lab is very similar to Chem 2 and Chem 10. The key difference is that Chem 8 and 8 Lab has four linked parts. You will need to register for all parts of Chem 8 and 8 Lab at the same time. These four parts are Chem 8 Lecture, Chem 8 Discussion, Chem 8 Lab, and Chem 8 Lab Discussion. Step 1. Identify the time of the Chem 8 Lecture that you want to take. Step 2. Select one of the linked discussion course listed directly below the lecture. Unlike Chem 2 and Chem 10, the discussion and lab for Chem 8 are not paired. The lab for Chem 8 shows on the class schedule as Chem 8L. This means you will need to register for both Chem 8 and Chem 8L to complete your registration. Step 3. 
identify the Chem 8L lab section that you want to take. Chem 8L has both a lab time and a discussion time. There are usually multiple Chem 8L lab sections, so select one that fits best in your schedule. Step 4. Select one of the linked Chem 8L lab discussion sections listed directly below the Chem 8L lab. As a reminder, you will need the Chem 8 lecture, the Chem 8 discussion, the Chem 8 lab, and the Chem 8 lab discussion. You must submit all four parts of Chem 8 and 8L at the same time to successfully register for the course. We hope this information helps you successfully enroll in the appropriate CHEM course. A few final reminders. Each part of each course has its own unique five-digit course reference number, or CRN. All CRNs change each semester. Be sure to select the correct term when you are looking for classes. You must submit all linked or corresponding parts of a class at the same time when you are trying to register. If you are missing a part or trying to enroll in a discussion linked to the wrong lecture, you will get an error message. For more information and support, visit our BAC website and meet with your BAC academic advisor in an appointment or during walk-in hours. Thank you for watching and good luck with registering for your chem class.